I got my first flat tire on a monster, courtesy of a carpet tack. And chances are it came from my own driveway. This is actually my second time changing this tire. Um, changed it the first time the night before, but of course I suck at patching, so it didn't work. And I just put the tire back on so I could put the scooter in the shed. So I discovered uh, the tube for the trailer is same diameter, but it's it's a little bigger. So just as a temporary fix, I'm just gonna put this tube in. But I had to hop on the old scooter, go up to FS to get one, and yeah, I'm so used to the monster now, I get on this thing and it's like, wow, this is so slow. So i speed the video up real quick here, but when I show the actual changing of the tire on the monster, it's unedited, I'm not going to speed anything up, just to show you just how quick the, the tires are to change on this thing. Uh, I love the split rim. Uh, the other scooter's got split rims on it too, but it's you have to let the air out of the tire first because the two rims, the two parts of the rim are held together and bolted on all with the same bolts. With the Monster, there's five bolts holding the tire on, or holding the wheel on. You take those off and the whole wheel comes off. And then there's five more bolts on the inside of the rim holding the two pieces of the rim together. It's a whole lot easier this way, but the tire's already flat anyway, so it doesn't have to be deflated, it's all ready to go. So, I'm going to show you the process. see it's hard to tell the tires flat I was actually driving on it for a while on it flat without even realizing it I knew something was wrong I could feel it but I couldn't really tell what it was and I was hearing a really weird noise kind of like almost like a howl noise um, you hear a jet go overhead kind of sounded similar to that and I was trying to figure out whether it was coming from the scooter or not so I stopped and then I stopped started going and the noise came back so I looked down and I could see the bottom of the tire was bulging but the nice thing about the low profile tires is you don't have to worry about the be beads coming off the rim they just, I just had to be really really careful not to hit any big bumps and damage the rim any but I was able to drive it home One thing I'd like to point out here is the only tool I need to change the tire is one Allen wrench or hex wrench, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's one size, I can't remember what the size is. It fits all the outside bolts and when you take the tire off it fits in the inside bolts to take the, the rim apart. 
one tool. That's it.
I always put a little bit of air in the tube just to keep it from moving and keeping the valve stem from popping back inside. I do that with all my tires, bike tires, trailer tires, scooter tires, whatever. It always seems to help. And putting the valve cap on also seems to help that too. There's no specific way that the two rim parts go together and the only thing you have to do is just line up the bolts, the bolt holes. And now I'll inflate the tire to its proper rating, which I believe is 30 PSI. I find it easier to do that before I put it back on.
and just like putting the two pieces of rim together there's no specific place it has to be to go onto the scooter just line up the four bolt holes Then, just like you do with a car, lower it down off the jack to give the wheel nuts, or in this case bolts, their final tightness keeps the wheel from spinning. And that's how quick and easy it is to change a flat tire on the Monster. Thank you.